may take a while for this to sink in because this has been part of my life for good and bad for a long time. The idea that it's not going to be here next week doesn't even make sense to me. You know, I'm going to miss all these people a lot. You know, it's not like the show will finish on Friday night and we're all going to die. <laughs> you know, we're still going to call each other and hang out. The vision was two men and two ways of approaching the world. One decided, screw it, and just lived life to the fullest. Well, I, I, I would have to say that my intentions are good. In fact, anybody who knows me would confirm that Charlie Harper has good intentions. <laughs> His actions, on the other hand, are usually selfish and asinine. And the other one is trying to be good. You know, I'm a good husband. I, I, I'm faithful. Is she? Is she what? Faithful. <laughs> We're not a sentimental show. We're throwing all caution to the wind. Stuff will happen on the show that has never happened before. Got a flashback to the pilot when it was clear that John and Charlie created this wonderful comedy team. And uh, Angus was a gift from God. We were blessed with Holland and, and Melanie and Conchata. I mean, it was the perfect storm for casting. Eight years later, we got to start over again. This now is as good a time as any. We came out of that with Ashton Kutcher, who made the next four years an absolute blast. Why are you massaging me and calling me baby and dressed like a gay cheetah? <laughs> Don't hate the cheetah. Hate the game. Well, we had uh, that episode where Gary Marshall and Tim Conway oh, and yeah. Steve Lawrence, and it was just this murderer's row of great actors and performers from when I was tiny. There was a scene that John and I and Courtney shot where we were having a threesome. Up until that moment on this show, I was like, I don't break for scenes, I'm not gonna break in a scene, I'm not. And when that moment happened, I just decided, this is so absurd and ridiculous <laughs> and so funny, I can't stop myself from laughing anymore. To this day, I, I believe that is the best episode of Two and a Half Men ever shot. I never did an actress. They're all crazy. I'm sure they're not all crazy. Trust me. They are. Uh, having Mila on was really fun, uh, hey, you know, to do to do a scene with her again. Hi guys, this is Lewis. It was great timing to touch on, on bringing a child into your life uh, for Ashton, because he was in the midst of bringing an actual child <laughs> into life. And I had gone through the adoption process, so for us, uh, put, it put a really fun spin on it that, that we would get married to go through that together. When a man loves another man, I think the last show is not afraid of making fun of itself. We know it's ending too, <laughs> so there's, it has a little bit of the, the uh, a wink. Mm -hmm. It's like painfully honest. Yes, painfully. There will honest. be there will be pain. Yes. It was an incredible experience to be part of a hit show, and to realize that people are really watching and, and they care. I would hope that the kindest view of the show would be that we tried to make people laugh. That was our job. If you were going to give us the half hour to watch the show, we would try to repay your attention with laughter. Mm -hmm.